It's a matter of student safety while crossing busy streets and the money it takes to keep the program going. Beaumont City Council is deciding whether to continue paying its share of the school crossing guard program for BISD. KFDM reporter Leslie Rangel is back from a council workshop with more. Leslie? Yes, and the program has been around since the 1980s. Council has decided the city will give up its management of the program and turn it over to the Beaumont School District. During a workshop this afternoon, Council talked about whether to once again set aside the cost of the city's portion of the program, about $90,000. Council didn't make a decision. The city has until an August 15th budget deadline to come up with its answer. The district needs an answer by the start of the school, August 27th. It's still not clear whether the crossing guards would be employees of the city or BISD. Jurisdiction is the main thing. The streets is the main thing for these children to be on, and they are the city's streets, not BISD streets. I think BISD is in the position financially right now for us to, uh, you know, pay for the complete funding of the, the, the crossing guard uh, situation. I don't think people need to be concerned. There will be crossing guards somehow, means or, or, or ways. There's going to be crossing guards. The council members hope to meet with Beaumont ISD administrators soon to resolve some of the questions about funding and the future of the program. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News.